obstetric examination so first you will have to explain to the mother okay for the children yeah so she gave a verbal consent second ensure that the mother has passed urine urine chase a child very good so now i'll request you one thing koncham ikkada kaallu marchukovali okay yeah ikkada koncham marchu so flex in a semi flex position the first step would be to correct the dextro rotation for that i'll be using with the back side of my right hand and centralizing the uterus after i centralize the uterus i use my ulnar border of the left hand and i try to come from the zephy sternum till i get the highest point of resistance so here in this particular mother the resistance has come at the level of the zephy sternum now after estimating the fundal height now i am moving to the fundal grip mm. for the fundal grip i use both my hands i lay on the fundal portion try to palpate and see what is the part occupying the fundus whether it is round hard palatable independently or broad soft irregular and less palatable independently now in this particular mother i feel see when i am moving one hand i am relaxing the other hand it is broad it is irregular it is less palatable so i feel the fundus is occupied by the breech now i move on to the lateral grip for this again i use both my hands i am placing one hand on the left side of the mother trying to feel the back this appears to be the back because it is hard resistance i am getting uniform hard resistance and it is it has a curvature when i am palpating with my right hand i feel there are these are the irregular parts so probably the limbs are occupying occupying on the right side of the mother now i move to the first pelvic grip for that i place my ulnar border of my right hand on the symphysis pubis i spread my fingers i try to grasp the presenting part and i gently feel for the presenting part and i am seeing whether it can be palatable or not it is round hard and i am and i am not able to belot freely probably the head has fixed at enter the pelvic brim now i do the second pelvic grip this is to confirm the first pelvic grip to know the attitude and third is to know whether the presenting part has engaged or not so the purpose of the second pelvic grip is three now for this i turn to the feet of the mother all this time i was standing on the right side of the mother and facing towards the mother now i face to the words the feet of the mother now again i am using the both the hands trying to see because i know the back is here so occiput is going to be here now the sinciput is going to be on the right side so now my fingers are getting divergent that means i am not able to get below the head that means the head is either fixed or it is engaged now i am looking at the relationship between the occiput and the sinciput in this particular case i feel the occiput is at a lower level when compared to the sinciput that means it's a well flexed head so one is attitude the, again i confirmed the presenting part and third is i said because my fingers were divergent it is engaged so i finish with all the grips now i'll be demonstrating the symphysis of fundal height can i have that inch tape so the inch tape is a semi rigid one i am going to select now i have centimeters and inches at the back so always it is better to conceal the centimeters back so the centimeters has to go back and inches have to come up so that the bias will not be there now i have already told you that i have centralized the uterus i have palpated for the fundal height and it was corresponding to the zephy sternum so from this highest point because this is a variable point i measure from the fundal height to the fixed point that is symphysis pubis i am placing the tape here going in the midline and reaching the symphysis 
pubis and then I am turning it round and then trying to check what is the fundal height. Okay. Now let us see where is the fetal heart. It has to be on the left side of the baby because the back is occupying here. This is the spino umbilical line. The junction of upper one third and two third. Can I have the fetal Doppler? Can you help me? Can you put some gel and then let us listen to the fetal heart. And when I was palpating the fetal parts, I could feel the even adequate amount of lighter in between the fetal parts. And also I could appreciate one fetal movement. That's a good sign. Can I have some gel? Yes. So can you put the fetal Doppler here? Can you help me? Fetal heart is 132 beats per minute. Yeah, let us understand the same position on the dummy fetus. Here I was saying the fundus was occupied by the breech. So this is the breech part which is occupying the fundal portion which is broad, which is irregular and you can see it is not independently bilateral. Then I said in the lateral grip on the left side of the mother it is the back you can see it is uniform resistance and convexity and the fetal limbs are occupied on the right side of the mother and you can see the irregular fetal parts and i said even the liker i could feel the liker pockets in between the fetal parts in the first pelvic grip i said it was round hard but it was not bilateral in this mother so this is looking like the lower pole is occupied by the head of the baby then I was describing about the second pelvic grip. Pelvic grip. Here I said few things like I said hard round structure that is the head and I also spoke about the attitude that is the occiput is corresponding to the back of the baby and I said it was at a lower level when compared to the sinciput that means if the head is well flexed. If it is not flexed then it is extended or a deflexed head what happens is the occiput and the sinciput are at the same level you can see the occiput and the sinciput will be at the same level if it is deflexed if it is hyper extended then occiput will be at a lower higher level it is at a higher level than the sinciput so this is the attitude of the baby and i said another thing that my hands were diverging because the head has entered the pelvic brim I cannot get below because this portion has entered the brim. I cannot get below the presenting part. That's why my hands were diverging. So thank you.